All right, so today I wanna show you all how you do the pre-slab plumbing or the ground plumbing uh, on a new build. So you can see right now, I've got the forms for this build already formed out. We're getting ready to do concrete, but before we do concrete, we need to do the in-ground plumbing. So let me show you how to do that. So after the forms go up, we're gonna use a combination of both hand digging and a small backhoe in order to dig out where all of the underground plumbing is gonna go. If you're not familiar with this process, the main lines are going to be four inch schedule 40 PVC, and then the branch lines, which are gonna be the drains that are going to the kitchen sink, the bathroom sinks, all of those areas, those are all going to be two inch pipe, and they will convert down to inch and a half under the sink itself. A couple main things that we need to worry about now, we need to make sure that all of the lines that get run have a slope. Rule of thumb for for in-ground plumbing is you want about an eighth of an inch for every foot, quarter inch is better. What that means is that's the height the pipe is going to drop over a 12 inch span. Right now is also okay, the so optimal time to make sure that the pipes get stubbed out exactly like. where you want them so that you don't have to do After concrete demo on the back end when you're working on the showers and or the primary tub. It's just pipes coming up out of the ground. Four inch for the toilet. We've got two inch back here for the air gap. Another two inch for the vanity three inch for the upstairs, and then another two inch air gap. And then over here we got a sink, and then we've also got where it ties into the septic. This is the main drain line, which will also be a clean out.